Welcome to the Graphics Duralar Film Demo in a Box tutorial. This demo is all about mixed media, stenciling, and collage on clear and wet media Duralar film. In your box, you're going to receive 25 sheets of 0.005 clear film and also 0.004 wet media film. Wet media Duralar film is coated on both sides to accept water-based mediums, markers, and inks without bleeding, chipping, or running. And the clear Duralar film is an ultra-clear glossy surface to use as an artwork surface for permanent inks and markers. In your kit, you also get the instruction guide, which takes you detailed step-by-steps about how to use these products. You also receive a various array of golden mediums and paints to work with, some various stencils from Crafters Workshop, a few tools to help you do your project. First step is to mix a variety of the fluid acrylics with various pastes. You can use the heavy gel gloss and the light modeling paste and mix them thoroughly. Using the wet media Duralar film, select and use a variety of stencils with the selection of different colors of paints and textures that you have just blended. Take your stencil and use your palette knife and you can apply as little or as much of the colors to the selection as you wish. The Duralaw film is able to take heat, so you can also heat set this if you want to speed this up or just set it off to the side while you make all your different layers. The next method is to make transparent sheets. So what you're going to do is take a little bit of paint. We're going to do a section that has one solid color paint and then a mixture of two paints together, the dark with a little bit of the white. And here you take a brayer and brayer it on until you have the look that you're trying to achieve. If for any reason you're unhappy with the particular color that you like, the Durar film is also able to be wiped clean for you to start over. If you want to reapply, create a different look, maybe get a different kind of a transparent look, you can also blend your colors. Now set this off to the side to dry. The last method is making lines. For this, you can do a couple of different methods. You can take your fine line applicator, apply a little bit of paint, and you can apply fine tip lines to your film. You may also use some of the previous paints that you have already put together and draw lines with your paintbrush. The lash option is making lines using your tool. Place some paint on your film with your paintbrush and take your tool and create lines. Now let all of these dry and we'll come back and we'll cut them up before we start assembling our collage. So now all the sheets have fully dried. The next stage is to cut out the sections that you like or just piecemeal out any of the portions of the films in any size and shape that you wish, just using a pair of scissors. Now that you have all your pieces cut out, remove a section from the clear Duralar film pack, which I have right here, and start layering down in any arrangement, anywhere from six to 12 pieces, make up, you know, choose whatever you like, and create a fun arrangement in any order that you wish, and kind of play with it until you feel like you've got the right style of art for yourself. Once you have the design that you like, add in some painter's tape to glue the sections together before you start gluing it all together. Once you've taped the entire back side, make sure that you can remove your film from underneath cleanly and gently flip this entire piece over. It should remain as one unit. Now you're going to take your soft gel gloss and a palette knife. A credit card would also work really well too. And add some gloss gel. This is going to add act as your glue. You want a thin layer, it will look milky at first, and all you're going to do is you're going to apply it to allow everything to stick together. So if you've applied a clean layer all the way to this, go ahead and place your clear Duralar film over top. Use the edge of the tool that's given to you, nice and clean, to remove any excess that is in there. Remove any excess you might see, cleaning off your sponge or cleaning off your credit card or the tool between each to make sure that you do not get gloss on the top. If you happen to get gloss, just qu quickly remove it before it dries. Once you've removed all the excess gloss, carefully lift up from the freezer paper, which is what I have down here, and lay flipped over to dry. 
I mean, remove your painter's tape or you can remove it after the fact. I'm going to remove mine before very carefully not to shift anything in the process. You may also at this stage add another layer of gloss to the back side to make sure everything will be stuck together. At this stage everything is kind of stuck enough that you can flip it back and forth and see is there any other layers that you would like to add. If you do add any more layers, make sure to add a little more gel gloss before you put in the next layer so it has something to stick to. So now that your piece is dry, you can poke a couple holes and hang it up in fishing wire in front of your window for a beautiful stained glass look. You can add soft gloss gel to the back and glue it to a piece of paper or to another panel or to any other object you'd like. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out Demo Number 3 with Dura Laura Film. I'm Erin Reed, and thank you for watching. Bye.